Morning guys, welcome to today's vlog. Yes, I have brow tattoos on at the moment. <laughs> I'm trying them out and I'm filming it and it's not going so well. <laughs> I just put a first, God, they're ridiculous. I just put a first, oh yeah, it's Vlogtober day uh, 10 today. I just put a coat on and then uh, I waited 20 minutes. Then I went back to like refilm it and it, like they're peeling off and I'm like, I didn't actually put enough on. I'm gonna have to put more on because I cannot get this off. So that's what I've done. I've probably completely ruined my brows. But anyway, <laughs> the fun of trying new beauty products, hey? Um, so I'm just doing that. Uh, yeah, today I have just been working. Um, I edited an Instagram video and I have done a vlog. And now I'm just gonna do, um, try and catch up with the vlogs. So I'll do that while I'm waiting for this to dry. And then I need to film a video. I got the Prism palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I wanted to film a video using that and put that up like ASAP. But this is just taking up all of my time. <laughs> I look so silly. I feel really silly. Um, but yeah, that's basically what's happened today and um you know like the last couple of weeks i've literally been getting like nine even ten hours of sleep lately like every night and last night i only think i got maybe like five or six probably six because i was i got home and when you get home you're, you're tired but then you're just like you, you get in bed and you're like oh, i can't i can't sleep because i'm just Thinking about everything, so yeah, I didn't get to sleep till like after one, and then woke up pretty early as well, and I couldn't get back to sleep. So anyway, it is what it is. Little Miss Coco, what have you been doing? What you been doing, girl? You are so pretty. You know, bud. You wanna come do a roll? Come on, come do a roll. Good girl. Oof, good girl. I love you. How do you always find my hair ties? I try and keep them out of places where you won't get them, but you always find them. Okay, so just uploaded day six and seven of Vlogtober, and this is how my brows turned out. They're way too warm toned for me. They'd probably look okay with like my whole face on. I don't know. But um, this was the light brown, if you were interested in seeing how it looks. But in personal like preference, and I said this in the video, just go get your brows tinted. Unless you want to have a play around and see what it looks like. Um, but this only lasts like two to three days apparently. And if you get your brows tinted, it can last for weeks. So they're probably roughly the same price, to be honest. Like I imagine the, the brow tint was, you know, $15 or something. The, the Maybelline one was $16 and then like a brow tint is like the same price depending on where you go um, But yeah, I have to film the prism um, Makeup video thing. It's like 1 30. So I'm gonna go and do that and Okay, I finished filming. It's 3 17. I have to quickly edit a video ASAP and get it up. So I filmed the brow tattoo and then the prism palette and then a Kmart haul as well. Um, I'm really happy with the videos that I filmed today and just need to get them edited and up for you guys. <laughs> okay, so while I'm waiting for my footage to import, I thought I might go through the comments and answer some questions because I feel like I haven't done that for, well, at all since I um, Vlogtober started. Oh my god, I completely forgot about Atari, Atari's. My friend actually had like the original one, like growing up. That's so funny, I completely forgot about those. I've got a few comments saying that, like, have I lost weight and you look, look great and everything. Thank you so much. Um, I've actually lost seven and a half kilos, which is amazing. I'm very, very happy and, um, Although I did have two champagnes last night, which may, it might impact, um, you know, it might throw me out for a few days. But I'm doing really, really well and I'm very proud of myself. And a few of you commented about the cookies 
and Jasmine said that she ended up making them herself too so it's funny like making them myself yeah they did take time which I can see why they do you know three dollars fifty each kind of thing because they do take time to do uh, but they were they were really simple to be honest very simple and I'm sure like if you've made them a few times you get the hang of it it's just with them that you have to let the dough rest in the in the fridge or chill it in the freezer or something um, so I let them go overnight and yeah that's the annoying part about it oh my god Simone said she paid $90 for 25 cookies see ya Spyro, Cassie mentioned about Spyro and my mum later did get a PlayStation and she played Spyro and I remember I lived in Adelaide and I came home um, sometimes and would play it and everything and that was fun. Clarabelle asked what time do you wake up on days on don't work? You seem to be so productive and get so much done. If I wake up super early I need a nap. <laughs> um, I usually wake up about six like every day uh the daylight savings threw me out about half an hour and now last night would have thrown me out um but i like to i just wake up at six or even earlier sometimes i usually get up out of bed maybe about seven or something um and then you know have a shower and depending on how long that takes if i'm washing my hair and everything um and then yeah i don't have naps <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I don't know, but I do go to bed pretty early, like eight, eight o'clock I'm getting tired and I'm usually definitely in bed by nine, <laughs> most nights. I hope that this is how you pronounce your name, Roshaya, Roshaya Blossom. She mentioned, does anyone else change their color theme every year for Christmas? And she's going to do rose gold this year. Um, I haven't, I actually filmed my Kmart haul and I mentioned in it that I haven't changed, like, I bought decorations six years ago, I think, and they're like really tacky <laughs> purple and silver ones. <laughs> but I haven't changed it since then, so I'm definitely changing it this year. And I guess I also said like, how long is rose gold going to stay in on trend? You know, you just don't know. Yeah, I appreciate that you change colors and I think it's awesome. <laughs> oh, someone wanted to know where I got the marble board in the kitchen. I got it from the shop called House. I can't remember how much it was. I think it was around $20. It might have been on sale, but I think that they have a huge sale going on now at the moment. I went in there the other day and pretty much everything was on sale. They had a bigger one as well, I think. So many people love me with... For me, like with the fair skin, it's just about using the products that I know are going to work and I feel like, and I said this in the video that I haven't edited yet, like a foundation that's fair, that matches me, I can't find at the drugstore. So I have to spend the extra and like the one that I use is a, as a, is it Lancome? Yeah, it is. So, but once you've found the products that work for you, then like then it's okay. <laughs> Usually I look a mess if I'm not using the right products with with uh, pale skin. If I was to get a light coverage foundation that doesn't have a lot of fragrance to it, would you recommend Too Faced Born This Way, Fenty or Dior? I haven't tried Fenty. Um, I've tried Dior foundations and they have a lot of fragrance. Too Faced Born This Way is pretty full coverage. So a light coverage foundation, I don't know, because I use like mainly full coverage. Um, uh, that doesn't have a lot of... I just used the um, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I don't... I used that today. And I built up the coverage, but it can be quite sheer. But let me just sniff it. Because I don't know if it smells. I don't think that it has too much fragrance in it. So that's the um, this one here, the Luminous Silk Foundation pretty pricey though but you've mentioned um like quite like high price point of um how was I sitting before I was really comfy I don't even know what I was doing what was I doing oh yeah Amy asked what foundation I'm using the 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 fifth the pale foundation is the Lancome um the Lancome idol tint or something like that um it's a super long wearing one and uh they've actually in Australia come out with uh 40 shades so, uh, we went to the launch party last night, so they have a whole new shade range launching, which is awesome. So, and it's a really good long wearing full coverage foundation. Um, Elise asked, do you replace the milk 
in your tea with cream. I'm seriously considering keto, but I refuse to give up my morning cover. You know what? I have switched to full cream milk and I only use a dash in my cup of tea and I only have one cup of tea a day and it really hasn't made that much of an impact. So I think that this is how you pronounce your name. Kalina asks, um, well, she mentions she doesn't know what to buy her brother's girlfriend. Um, I would think that you would buy, um, you know, if they're similar age and they like similar things, buy them something that you would want. That's the best advice when buying someone a present or, you know, gifting them something. Give them something that you would want yourself. Um, if they're into totally different things, then it can be a little bit hard. Um, but usually, like, you know, makeup, toiletries, um, that kind of thing goes down a treat. Or even um, like like vouchers, like movie tickets. Everyone goes to movies. Well, most people do. Someone asked where the plastic mini martini shot glasses were from. They were just from like the this cheap like a cheap store. Like a you know, it's not a two dollar store, but it's just like you know one of those stuff where they have everything cheap. So and they have such random things. Jackie asks. From the keto diet, did you buy a book or something to learn about it? If so, which one? I used to do Atkins and want to get back into something like that. I just looked online. I watched YouTube videos. I read. I just searched it in Google. Um, that's honestly all I did. I also had a friend that was doing keto and she really helped me and gave me some suggestions and everything like that. And she was there to talk to when I first started. So it's good having someone else do it with you. But honestly, there's so much information online. You just need to search for it. Like it's right there. Okay. So my footage has finished importing. I didn't get all the way back down to the bottom. Um, but I'm going to go and edit this video now. And yeah. So I've just been editing and Dean has cooked up a lovely dinner. We've got his dad over tonight for dinner and there's so much food. Why did you do this? <laughs> and we just got a uh, Caesar salad, like the Woolworths one, which is amazing. Um, but I miss out on the croutons and the bread. Okay, so it's eight o'clock. Dean's dad just left and to be honest, I'm ready for bed. So I'm gonna finish off today's vlog here. Thanks so much for watching and I will catch you tomorrow. Catch ya. Catch ya. Morning guys, welcome to uh, Vlogtober day 11. Is it the 11th? Yeah, I think it's the 11th today. Uh, it's Wednesday morning and I'm just getting ready for work. Just got my breakfast. I didn't really feel like anything today, so but I knew that I had to eat. So I've just got some egg whites and a cup of tea. So just heading off to work today. Last night, um, I finished editing like a vlog and then it was like after I said I was going to go to bed, I quickly finished editing one and then um, exported it, did the thumbnail and then I was like handbrake said it was going to take 10 minutes. I'm like, I am waiting up for this. I'm so tired. And yeah, I went to bed before, well before nine. Last night there was a, like a blowfly buzzing around. It was Oh, you want to come on this one? Oh, shit, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. And um, she, it was just so annoying, and she was trying to get it. And Dean said, as he came to bed, he was like, because he just turned off the lights, and he's like, oh, my God, she got it in the dark. You little hunter, you, aren't you? Hey, you good girl getting that blue fly. It was very annoying, wasn't it? Big shake. I forgot to show this PR package the other day. How cute is this? From Rose Hip Plus. These cookies for their fifth birthday. They are so cute. Um, and then another bottle of Rose Hip Oil. And I got these O Cosmetics products. I've not tried them, but I have a friend uh, who she's tried them and she really really likes them so i am pretty excited to try so i have a an exfoliating cleanser and then i have an eye fusion and then um i don't know what this is but i feel like it's just some like day night cream kind of thing it doesn't really so this says mix half a scoop of powder into your choice of o serum or hydrator apply to face and throat daily Oh, so it's like a, it's a powder, is it? I forgot to show this PR package the other day. How cute is this? From Rose Hip Plus. These cookies 
for their fifth birthday. They are so cute. Um, and then another bottle of rosehip oil. And I got these O Cosmetics products. I've not tried them, but I have a friend uh, who she's tried them and she really, really likes them. So I am pretty excited to try. So I have a an exfoliating cleanser and then I have an eye fusion. And then um, I don't know what this is, but I feel like it's just some like day night cream kind of thing. It doesn't really sew. Oh wait, hold on. This says, um, this says, mix half a scoop of powder into your choice of O serum or hydrator. Apply to face and throat daily. Oh, so it's like a, it's a powder, is it? It's a powder that you mix in with your serum. That's really interesting. I don't know what serum it's meant to go in with, but that looks really cool. So thank you so much for sending those ones through, guys. Love them. I think I'm going to take my um, lollies <laughs> to work because they just won't get eaten here and people at work will love them. <laughs> Okay, I'm heading off to work, so I will see you when I get home. Bye. Hey guys, I just got home from work, and wow, did the day turn terrible today. It's been raining, there's meant to be winds up to 120 Ks, like damaging winds, like there's full weather warning and everything. So yeah, I just put the heater on, because it's freaking cold. <laughs> and I think little Miss Coco has been quite cold today. You haven't been getting your warmies. No sunnies for you, hey? Poor girl. Poor little girl. Dean called me before and he said that um, he has to go to like a fiber outage. So I don't know if he's going to be home what time. I might give him another call because he called me a bit before. But I got a package. I got two packages today. I'm much better over here. I got a box of skinny tan. Oh my God. Thank you so much, Monica. Holy moly. <laughs> oh my God. Um, Deb at work was like, that's enough tan to last your lifetime. I'm like, yeah, probably not. <laughs> I'm excited to try all this new stuff and I love the new packaging. I love that it's so different compared to other tans. So I think I'll try the mousse first, uh, but there's also like an instant tanner. There's a pre-tan primer, so I can exfoliate with that. After glow gloss, um, tan and tone oil, and then there's a seven day tanner, gradual tanner, and then this seven day tanner. Oh my God, so much tan. Amazing, thank you so much. I love tan. So does Coco apparently. Nah, she just loves the box. <laughs> so this you can get at Priceline. Um, I don't know, this is their skinny tan handle so yeah you know what i realized i didn't take any photos of those cookies that i made i am so silly i can't believe i completely forgot because i was telling someone about them at work and then i'm like oh my god i didn't take any photos to show anyone like i've got vlog footage but <laughs> but ollie's mum took a few so i showed them then um i showed one of those but then i didn't take any of tanya's so <laughs> Before I get changed, uh, this is my outfit today. So I've just got some flats on, stockings. This skirt is from Portman's. And then I've got this, um, this is like a sleeveless, um, what do you call it, ribbed top from Alley Fashion. And then I have this cardigan just from Valley Girl, Tempt, whatever it's called. So yeah, and I need to clean this up. I sorted out some old shoes the other day and there's some that I want to keep but and don't want to get rid of but I just need to find a place for them so it'll probably be in the other cupboards but like these are classic Jessica Simpson shoes and these cowgirl boots like oh I can't get rid of them so I need to put them somewhere and then these oh my gosh these right these were my year 12 formal shoes <laughs> I can't like they're Honestly, there was not much of a choice, um, but these, I loved these. Look how trash they are. They're so trash. I should get rid of them, but I just want to keep them because, I don't know, just memories. <laughs> Even like formal dresses, there was 
no, there was zero choice basically back when I did year 12 compared to what there is now like there is so much choice so much variety different shapes sizes and everything and like I mean I loved how I looked in my formal but on the other hand it's just like oh, I wish I was having a formal now <laughs> are you just doing a roll for me come on roll over this way How you just threw yourself over? Here's the stuff that I got from Essence today. So I've got a Face Perfect Perfecta brush. I think that this is around seven dollars. And then I have this. This looks awesome. It's called an, an illuminating face cream gel. So now these ones are only like limited edition. Look at that. Isn't that stunning? Gogi, what do you reckon? Stunning? So pretty. Um, I think that that's around seven dollars as well. And then there's some nail stickers. So these ones are limited edition. Oh, my battery is gonna run out. Um, yeah. So seven fifteen or oh, six fifteen. Stickers are two sixty five. Now, when is this available? I don't know. It's available from the eighth of October. So hopefully it's in store soon. If you're wanting to check out some limited edition, they have some really cool stuff that's limited edition. Um, but yeah, that's so thanks so much. Essence. Morning guys, welcome to Vlogtober day 12. I am just about to head off to work soon. So I just wanted to start off today's vlog. Um, and yeah, yesterday, last night, it's pissed down. It was like so horrible outside. Um, and I watched The Bachelorette. Yeah, nothing really too interesting happened on it. Luke left, but I could kind of see it coming. But, oh God, I can't wait till Blake leaves. He is just vomit. Like, just the way he treats people is just like vomit. So, yeah, I'm going to head off to work and... Cookie, see you later. I love you.